Hi guys, welcome back to another Project Temp Pan update. I feel kind of out of it today. I'm like, it's been a rough weekend. Not that I partied or anything, but I just had so many things to do and I've been exhausted from work and exhausted from the weekend. And I looked the part. My hair's not even cooperating, nothing. But let me try to get through it and let's get started with my update. So the first thing I have right here that I finished off is my Tarte um, Amazonian Clay Foundation. This foundation I loved. It gives you great coverage. It stays on. I just like it. It's um, kind of hit or miss for somebody. Some, for some people, you either like it or you don't like it. I went through both stages. I liked it and then I stopped liking it. And then I started liking it again. So, but I mean, it's gone, it's empty, and I will probably be repurchasing this in the future. Another item I went through is my professional face primer. I didn't think I was ever gonna go through this. It's like, oh my gosh, like when am I gonna finish this tiny little thing? But I finally went through it, I got through it, and I'm using this one um, along with another one that I have in my 15, uh, what <laughs> in my finished 13 by Halloween uh, but this one is done I did learn to love it I didn't like it up at first uh, but then you know with use just like with a lot of things you get to like stuff that you didn't like before so I do like it if I get it in a kit or something I will love it as well but I won't actually go and repurchase it willingly this little cuteness right here my little elf pencil this is so adorable oh before I go any further let me just tell you guys I lost my little card what where I lost my little card where I had measured out my progress for my items but since I only have two uh, measurable items that go on the little card uh, I don't want to just kind of go through the trouble of going back searching looking in progress it's whatever this pencil right here is almost gone. It's itty bitty tiny and it is just so cute. Um, I can't really say I enjoy using it. I use it just in my inner corners to brighten up my eye and stuff. But it's it's a, kind of like a nuisance because it can be kind of clumpy. Uh, you really got to just blend it out and I just do it really quick what i do is i just put it on and then with the back and right here i just kind of smudge it because i don't want to go through the trouble of getting another brush and blending it it's like what for it still looks okay so um i've been using this up and it's almost gone Alrighty, so next i have my um Tarte BB Concealer. This I am enjoying it very much and I've made some damage on it. And I don't know if you can see, you can't really tell, but of course all of this is pan and over here I'm starting to kind of uh, go on the, taking off kind of like the top layer as well because I just kind of go like this. So um, I'm making really good progress on this. It's a little bit more than halfway done and I love this for the darkness that forms right here in your eyes in the corner of your eyes so I love this very much and I'm gonna be sad to let it go but it has to go before it goes bad elf product my elf blush and bronze here it is I am very happy with the progress that I've made with this um, I haven't been using the bronzing part too, too much because since I went back to work, give me a second because my kitty wants to be bad and she has decided that she wants to exit the room. The joys of pet ownership. Anyways, so I've been in you, in, so I've been enjoying using this, uh, very much. I don't use the bronzing part. Because since I started, since I went back to work, there's really no need for me to go through that extra step. I just put on my foundation or BB cream and the rest of my makeup, whatever I'm, I'm going to wear. And I don't really bronze. Um, I do use my blush part quite a bit. I use it all the time, every day, under whatever blush I am going to be wearing. Or by itself. It gives you a really, really pretty color. Just that, like, pinched pink not 
red is just like a subtle hint of color and of course if you want to build it up you can but i'm really enjoying using this cream um blush <sighs> this one i don't know when it's gonna decide to go but i'm working on it i'm trying to get through it when i get through it i am going to throw a big giant party my last elf product that i have that i'm panning is my elf eye primer i like this stuff i actually use it a lot and um it makes my shadow just stay on and it lasts all freaking day and it can last all freaking night too this is a really really good eye primer so if you're looking for a primer that's not gonna set your budget off of whack this is really really good i love it and i'm using it a lot um i've made really good progress on this as well it's almost done but it does take me a really long time to get through this i don't know about anybody else i don't know how you guys do with this product but it takes me quite a while to get through this and i've been using it for a long long time consistently but um this is it right here almost gone i don't know when i'll be done with it but i'm in no real hurry either the next product that i have is my avon glossy angelic pencil this one right here i absolutely love this avon product i love this color it's really glossy but it's also a pencil um but it's also like a lip lipstick or something i don't know it's just it's really really glossy and i love it you can see right there and it doesn't just uh wear off as quick as a lip gloss uh you can like line your lips and over the lip liner use this but it is a really really good product and i am making a uh, significant progress on this not that i use it a whole whole ton but um it's really easy to get through so if you use it a couple of times you will make progress on it and you will be good and i highly highly recommend that you try these products if you're into glossy products but don't want to do you know the whole dope foot thing or carrying around the little tube you can use one of these pencils and you might like it next i have my physician's formula powder oh i just this thing has no end and it gets on my nerves but to its defense i haven't been using it so so much like i used to before because now it's gone to where it is it oxidizes along with my tarte foundation oxidizes on me that's a color shade medium and i should have gone light so it oxidizes and it makes me look darker than i really am i am fairly light as you can see <sighs> this thing tends to ox oxidize on me as well and it just makes me look orange along with my foundation and i hate it so what i do what i've been doing lately is i've just been using it kind of like a bronzer for when i go to work i bronze bronze up a little bit just to give me a little bit of color and so i won't look as pale but i've made really good progress on this like it's been um it's been a while since i've been using it and i haven't been marking it either uh reason being that my pan shows and i do make progress on my pan but it's also around around the sides uh, around the top and you can't really tell so i just stopped marking it and i have this as a reference point that way um i feel that i am making more progress than than maybe than i probably am but i'm still using this and i will continue to use it till it's gone and retired last item i have to show you guys is my derma blend translucent powder i've been using this every single day as my setting powder i had never used a translucent powder i bought this ages ago and i never used it because to me it was like this is white like i need more color i need more coverage and as i've been using makeup a little bit more and just watching youtube videos and researching and all of that I found out that translucent powders are okay. You can use translucent setting powders. You will not die or walk into a zombie apocalypse. So that's what I've been doing and I've been enjoying the heck out of this. And now I am like addicted to translucent setting powder. So I use this one and this one is almost gone. Like, I don't know if you can tell, hold on. 
you can't hardly tell. But it's just very little. There you go. You can kind of see it there. It's just very little. This should be gone like in a week or so. So um, I've really been enjoying this powder and I have my ELF HD powder that I want to start using to see what the big, big thing is about it. So those are my items I have finished in total. Oh, 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 oh. One thing I forgot to mention is I have the, I had the e.l.f lip liner in bitten in bitter or bitten i don't remember what it's called but i hated that thing and just as i enjoyed just as i started enjoying using it i lost the freaking thing it's like oh what is this sorcery as soon as you start liking stuff it just disappears but anyways i had that in my project tempan as well and it's gone but if i find it i'll keep using it i like it it's really pretty um, matte it looks matte red if you don't use anything else on your lips and if you put like a lip gloss on it it transforms to like this really pretty glossy berry type color i'm going to call this project pan done i finished almost half my stuff a little bit less than half but um this was a great project panning experience i got through some stuff that i never thought i would and um i'm going to i might roll some stuff onto a like um nine till new year's or something like that um just a couple of stuff because i do have my 13 by halloween going which i'm gonna film right after this and um but i loved i really enjoyed doing this project pan and i am going to continue doing them even though i said no way because it's so stressful like oh my god i have to use this i have to use this it's almost time and it just stresses the heck out of me but i am going to try to keep these project pans going hitting pan on it like i did with this to me is a total total success and the fact that i actually finished some of the products that i had in the in the project it's an incredible incredible thing so um that is it for this project 10 pan i will have maybe a project another project 10 pan in the future maybe a project 5 pan or something i don't know i'll let you know but for now this is it and i'll see you guys in my next one thanks for watching